Hi guys. Okay, today we have another cool light from Olight. It is the Boulder RL. It is a laser and a flashlight that's Picatinny mounted that you can mount on your pistol, on your rifle, um, basically any gun that has a Picatinny mount. Olight has another sale that starts on the 26th of July when this video goes live and it goes on to the 30th of July. This is a very cool little light. Um, it really helps your accuracy in the day or in the night. This laser is bright enough to see it during the day and um, you can see it pretty far at night also. Because this is an airgun channel, I'm going to use it on my Umarex HDP50. This is a CO2 uh, powered um, pistol. It shoots 50 caliber um, either uh, pepper balls or solids or paint balls or powder balls or anything that you want. Um, this thing is really, really fun to shoot. And with this light, it's just, it's taken to the next level. <laughs> I am first going to tell you a bit about this light, um, how it works and everything. And then we will put it on uh, this uh, little pistol, shoot a bit at uh, in the day and um, in the dark. And then I'm also going to put uh, this light on the impact and we will use only the laser to shoot some balloons or something um, on maybe 50 meters or so uh, in the dark um, out of the shoulder. So yeah, I think that will be fun. Um, but first I'm going to tell you a, a bit about this light. Okay, so before I tell you a bit more about this light, remember the uh, the sale. Um, I really like the Olight lights. As you see, I have a whole bunch of them. And with, um, I've, I've been using them all. Uh, hunting is really, really lucky with, uh, with this one. I think this will be on special. Um, this goes really far. Um, magnetic charging so you can um, keep it topped up and everything so that's very very nice let me show you a bit about the slide first I'm just going to take it off the gun um, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to show that because YouTube is full of nonsense when it comes to putting scopes and lights and stuff on that's considered modification so um, I will just do it and then I'll show you the light okay here is the boulder RL I just want to say sorry about the noise and everything um, that there is in the background this is a Sunday morning but our small town is quite busy I have to say for for this time of day um, but let's get to the yeah let me <laughs> let me tell you about this light first of all it has a little Picatinny connector you can press it to open it up and then you lock it to the back and then it sits pretty firmly this light opens at the back it has a little pull tab that you pull up this will open the battery compartment it takes two of these uh, cr uh, 123a batteries it shows you the positive and negative how to insert them and then you just click it closed and then flick this little switch to the top and then this thing is pretty pretty solid this light has a switch at the bottom where you can switch between laser laser and light and only light so let me show you that you can press it at the back press it once to activate there you have the light uh, then you have the light and the laser and then you only have the laser you can switch it off and on if you keep it um, let me just switch it to the light so you can see better if you keep it in and you release it's only momentarily and if you click it once then it stays on if you click it uh, once and off and if you click both of them it goes into strobe mode so uh, only the flashlight strobes not the not the laser so um, if you want to go into strobe mode if you want to blind someone this thing is pretty bright um, so that is a very lucky setting. They state on the box that this light has 1,120 lumens. And I have to say this thing is lucky, lucky bright. Um, you can see up to 100 meters pretty easily. Um, 150 is getting a bit, um, a bit more tough. Uh, but for um, the purpose of this, it is more than sufficient. It also has a, like a large throw so it lights up a big a big part and it also goes quite um quite a distance okay you guys know what's going to happen now it's the drop test they stayed one meter so we will give it roughly a meter a bit more maybe uh we'll drop it a few times see if it still works then we will do the water test yeah Oh. 
one more, let's drop it on the switches. Yeah, well, uh, <laughs> it still it still works. Um, I just blinded myself a bit. Uh, okay, let's get all of the the pieces of my floor tile <laughs> off it. Um, we have um, oh, there's pieces of tile sitting in it. Uh, the switches are still perfect. Uh, there's a bit of damage on the plastic part, um, a bit of scratches. Um, let's see if this is tile or... Okay, so there is the smallest little... Um, I don't even know if the camera will show it. There's the smallest little um, scratchy and that's basically that. Let's just show you that it still works. That one works. Uh, well, <laughs> I can still drop it. Uh, that one works. Uh, that, that, that. So everything still works. Uh, let's just check the strobe. Okay, drop test. This one passed. So now the water test. So you're going to throw this on the ground. Uh, let me just switch the camera, turn on the water. Okay, turning on the water. Uh, let's open it up a bit more. Okay, they say it's splash proof. Okay, I would say that is a pretty pretty good downpour of rain um, it's still working okay uh, the laser is still working let's just switch it off on there but there the strobe okay splash proof yes <laughs> I think so um, okay well uh, they put uh, two things that this thing should should survive it survived so um, I'm pretty happy let's go and test it on a gun this thing survived the drop test and the water test uh, so I will now put it on the um, on the HCP on the HCP and then we will do some shooting I'll shoot now zero to show you um, how nice that works and then we will take it out tonight and uh, shoot a bit now we are going to do some first person uh, viewing shots with uh, with the HCP 50 and the um, and the uh, Baldia LR or RL, um, we are yeah going to shoot a couple of shots um, there on the target, which is there, and yeah um, we'll see how it does um, with a little uh, with a little laser light. Um, yeah, we'll see how accurate it is. I sighted it in; it looked pretty good. So we will do. Um, uh, five or six shots um, with uh, with this uh, see how the accuracy is and you will <laughs> see uh, everything with first person view let's hope that it looks okay I must just remember to hit it at the back so that it goes out so it's live let's go okay Okay, well, I sighted it in uh, when it was almost empty, so I will just adjust it a bit higher. Then it should uh, it should uh, shoot a bit better. But uh, yeah, let's adjust and do another five shot grouping. Okay, I turned it down a bit. Let's uh, see the new grouping. Okay, well, I would say that's not too bad. Uh, let's go and see what the grouping looks like. We'll switch this off. Okay, well, as you can see, the grouping looks pretty good. Um, there's one or two, the first two shots. Um, I don't know why, but that's not too bad. And then the last, uh, well, one, two, three, about there. And then the last three were all 
in there. Well, that's quite fun for a little, um, what do you call it, a paintball 50 cal pistol uh, with the laser sight on. Um, yeah, quite, quite fun. So we are outside now. We are going to test the Boulder LR uh, flashlight um, on my uh, HTP 50, the Umarex. Um, I will put the link to the review of this um, pistol up here. This is quite a nice pistol, um, just fun plinking, um, shoots paintballs uh, very fast. This thing is crazy, crazy nice. Um, we will see how um, how this light does on, on this and then we'll also test it on the impact. Uh, we will shoot on around 10, uh, 8 to 10 meters with this, um, with the laser sight. Um, I can still make out a bit what's going on uh, in the moonlight. And then we will go to 50 meters. We will put uh, this little light with the laser on the impact. Uh, 50 meters is a bit far to be able to see. So we will uh, put the uh, torch on with the laser. And then we will shoot uh, some uh, balloons on 50 meters uh, with the laser sight. So that's going to be fun. Uh, so yeah, we're going to test it. Um, it is insanely cold. It is like minus one degrees. It's just past eight in the evening. Um, so yeah, uh, it's like a cold. It's gonna be fun to shoot and to test. And yeah, uh, let's, uh, let's see how it does. Um, so first I'm going to put on the GoPro on my head um, and give you guys like um, first person view uh, footage. Um, we'll see how, how that uh, works out. I'll also record it uh, with, the, with the camera. Um, it's basically going to be pitch black, but we will see if I hit the balloons. We'll be able to hear if I hit the balloons. Um, that's basically what <laughs> we are going to do. So, uh, let's get testing. Okay, I got the GoPro on my head. Uh, we'll see if we can see and uh, make out anything in the dark. But I think the laser uh, might... Uh, light it up a bit, but we'll see if the GoPro and the camera in front uh, will see anything. So uh, about uh, seven, eight meters, not not ten, between seven and eight meters. Um, do five shots, see if we can get uh, all five balloons as quick as possible. If this will help, um, yeah, let's see. Okay, uh, between maybe three and five meters. Let's go. Okay, so um, one thing that I kind of forgot because I've been shooting with high pressure air, not CO2, is that when it's really cold, the CO2, um, I, the shot, uh, the velocity really drops. So uh, I set this up um, this afternoon when it was around 20 degrees, so it was shooting perfectly. Uh, but now the velocity has dropped and it's not shooting where it must shoot and everything So yeah, that is real world what happens. So always remember that um, To remember CO2 shoots a lot slower um, in in cold so Keep that in mind, but I think the cool shot is going to be the impact. We're going to take that out to 50 meters I'm just going to quickly switch uh, this over to the impact and yeah, we'll do uh, 50 meters, uh, shoot five uh, balloons, uh, we will use the light and yeah, we will hopefully hit them. It is insanely cold, my fingers are freezing off. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, I'm going to get everything ready and then I'm going to see you in, well, now. Okay, I have now sighted in the impact um, with the laser sight. Um, it's zeroed on 50. It is pretty precise with my scope. Um, I can actually uh, see through it. Um, it's it's basically full moon, uh, so uh, you can quite uh, clearly see the target through the scope. This is a quite like a scope, especially on minimum zoom. Then you can basically make out the crosshairs. So, um, but I'm still going to use the, um, the torch that I'm going to shoot offhand out of the shoulder and we will see if I can hit uh, <laughs> the five balloons or 15 meters with the laser. So, let's see what happens.
Oh, that one is swinging a bit. That is freaking cool. <laughs> Without looking through the through the scope, you can go pretty far. There is about that's what 70, 80 meters. Um, the storage can go quite far. That's maybe 90 meters, touching 95. Uh, you might notice the cars. The cars are about five kilometers away. So there is no way that um, I will reach them uh, with the impact. I don't think so. Uh, 716 meters was already uh, like I think it was 47 or 48 meters hold over. So yeah. Okay, so um, <laughs> that was quite fun. Uh, I really enjoyed myself. My hands are flipping freezing off. You'll probably hear the wind noise because I'm not using a different mic. Um, but yeah, this was really fun. The impact uh, did a great job. Um, that little light is insanely cool. <laughs> I can't say enough good things about the lights because I have five, six of them now. And I love them all. Uh, I use them. I use torches a lot more now that I have a decent torch. Um, all of my friends love it when we have a braai, um, when there's something metal or anything, you just stick the torch up and it uh, just um, attaches magnetically. So that's really nice. Um, <laughs> my one friend, uh, when he works on his car, we just attach uh, the, um, the light to any part, uh, middle part of the car and then he can work on the car. Um, so yeah, that's the other O-lights. Um, remember, they are, they are all on special. Um, well, they have a lot of uh, special or stuff on special uh, they even have batteries and stuff on special so remember to go check that out um, but yeah that light that little uh, that little o light that boulder boulder I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it but that little light is insanely cool um, you will see it on my channel a bit more um, we'll take it out uh, shooting at night I'll set it up uh, maybe use it as a basic range finder maybe we'll see how that works um, but yeah I'm really looking forward to um, to playing around with it um, doing a bit more videos with it maybe um, if you have any questions about it you can just leave it in the comments below um, if you have any ideas or anything also just leave them in the comments below and as always thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one